One of America's most important founders was a man named Charles Thompson, who was said to have been closer to the events and people of the American Revolution than any other man of that era. Thompson was the Congressional Secretary from 1774 to 1789, all the way through the Revolution and the establishment of the federal government. He was also the man who made the final decisions for the design of the Great Seal of the United States, which can now be found on the back of America's dollar bill. As the new American Republic was being founded, Thompson made a detailed history of the events that took place during the Revolution and of the men who were being celebrated as heroes across the country. Though he was compelled repeatedly to publish this history, Thompson declined. No, he said, I ought not, for I should contradict all the histories of the great events of the Revolution. Let the world admire the supposed wisdom and valor of our great men. He said, I shall not undeceive future generations. As a result, Thompson eventually destroyed his manuscript and what may have been the truest account of the American Revolution was lost for all time. It might be said that any serious investigation into America's history should begin with Thompson's story and his decision not to undeceive future generations. What did Thompson mean? What was he hiding? And since we are the future generation, what have we been deceived about? I believe it's so important that we as Christians expose this wicked uh, spirit of Antichrist among the Founding Fathers and not bring these guys into our churches and teach our children and our families and our brethren that these men were some kind of Christian heroes when they weren't Christian heroes at all. They were denying the gospel of our Lord. Uh, and so our battle is not, it's not a political battle. The reason that, you, that men like David Barton want to take the founders and go into churches and try to convince you that these guys were Christians is because they want you to become entangled in the politics of this world. And to get your eyes and your focus off the spiritual battle that the scriptures tell us is the real fight that we're in.